What's up guys, V here. And in today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to install the Deepcool AK620 digital CPU cooler in your case. Now, whether this is a brand new PC build or a used one, this video should help you install it properly the first time so you won't have any issues down the line. Now with that, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we gotta do is take off the GPU. Take off the two screws in the back over here. Unplug your eight pin or 16 pin, whatever you have. Now there's a little lever back here that you can push in and it should release the GPU and you can just pull it right out. So there's the little lever. Once you push it in, the GPU should slide right out. Just like that. Put this to the side. If this is a brand new PC, you probably won't have your cooler pre-installed. This one has the stock cooler right here. If you have a brand new PC that you're building, you'll have these little brackets there. This next part will be the same concept, even if you have the little brackets there. It's a Phillips head screwdriver. You pop out the two screws and the whole bracket. Whoops, the whole bracket pops right out. Same thing with the bottom one. Now, if you have a cooler, go ahead and unplug it. Usually the fan cable will be plugged in right at the top here. Give it a nice tug and it should pop right out. Once you have that unplugged, we're gonna start loosening the CPU fan. So the way you unscrew this is give it like two turns in this corner or whichever corner and then go diagonally to the other corner. Give it two turns, go right next to it, two turns and keep doing that until it's fully loose. Yeah, mine came off really easy, but if yours is stuck on there, try not to yank straight out. Try to give it a few turns like this and slowly pull away. Otherwise, you're gonna rip out your CPU. Now, the next step is going to be to clean off our thermal paste. We're gonna use some 70% alcohol. You can use any percentage, really. I just have this laying around. And then some paper towels. Take a paper towel, fold it up, you know, once or twice or whatever. A little bit of alcohol, nothing too crazy. And then I like to just take the side that's with the alcohol and start wiping. This PC isn't very old, so this thermal paste is still fairly fresh. So it came off really easy. And then I like to flip this just like that. And then just give it a dry wipe. Let it dry for maybe a minute and then continue to the next step. Now the next step is to open this box that came inside of the box with the cooler and take everything out. And you're gonna need two bags. You're gonna need this one here. This one has these like, these brackets right here. That's gonna be for the cooler. And you're gonna need this bag here. Now, if you have an Intel motherboard, this is going to be for Intel. It says Intel on the back. This is a back plate. Obviously, AMD has its own back plate, so that's that. Your Intel motherboard will need this back plate. You'll hold it back there, and then you'll proceed to the next steps I'm about to show you. And then it also has this for various Intel motherboards. So this Intel bag has the longer brackets. As you can see, these in, uh, AMD brackets are short, and then these are quite long. So that's how you can tell the difference. And now let's go ahead and open up this bag here. And then what you're looking for are these little double-sided screws with this uh, like black thing right here. Now you're gonna take your back plate and you're gonna hold it to the back inside of these holes here and pick a corner and with the black side facing towards the motherboard, you're gonna go ahead and screw them into this back plate right here. So once you screw one side in, you no longer have to hold that back plate in place. So go ahead and screw all of all four corners in. All right, so now we're onto these brackets right here that we talked about earlier. You're gonna have to go ahead and mount these right in here. And remember these little thumb screw thingies? We're gonna go ahead and need those right now. With the Phillips head side facing you, you're gonna go ahead and start screwing these in. Now do the same for the top. Notice how I'm mounting these brackets where this screw is closer to the CPU and not the opposite way around. So again, Phillips head facing you or facing outwards. Take your screwdriver, give them a little hand tighten. It's like half a turn. If it doesn't move anymore, 
you're fine. They don't need to be extremely tight. So this cooler comes pre-assembled for the most part, but we need to take off the fans and this little top piece. And the way you do this is there's these little brackets right here and you just grab it right here and sort of pull down and out. And then it just comes off and then grab the fan and it comes off just like a little door. Put that to the side. Now we can remove this screen portion and just twist the cables out of this little notch. And then this is magnetic, so just pop it right off. Same thing with this fan, pull it out. Do the same for the other side. And then just pull it right out. Now we got the bare bones cooler. And we're gonna go ahead and install it in the case. First things first, do not forget to remove this. Take this as an opportunity to do so now and try not to touch that. All right, next step, we're gonna take the included thermal paste or your preferred thermal paste, whatever you want. I'm just gonna use the one they included. Everybody recommends a pea-sized dot. I like to be different and I like to make a little X. It just spreads better when it's an X. And now we're ready to install this cooler. The only thing you have to pay attention to, this notch side, for the screen has to face the front of the case. This side doesn't have a notch, so keep that in mind. Now let's go ahead and line it up. Once you got it in place, take your screwdriver. Make sure it is a long screwdriver. Now once you've screwed it in just a little bit, go ahead and do the same for the bottom. And again, give it a few turns on the bottom, move to the top, so on and so forth until it's tight. Final little snug and you're good to go. All right, the next step is to get these fans in. By the way, if you wanna move these brackets, you can just pull them right out and then put them where you want. Now, when you're reinstalling these, just make sure that the top of the fan right here is flush with this cooler. So what I do is I hold it just like that and then I push with my finger up here, that right there, and that locks it in place. And now I do the same down here and that's in place. So it gives enough space for this piece to go on just like that. Now the next step is to get this little screen back on here. So we're just gonna get it right in place. And then there's two wires that need to go back into this little channel. And I start at the top and get it right in just like that. That looks about right. Now we're gonna get the other fan in. Now, another thing I'd like to mention real quick right here, if you want this fan to be put back here, you can definitely do that instead of having it in the front. That's really up to you. Take these brackets off, flip the brackets, make sure the front of the fan, not this side, front of the fan is still facing the front of the case, and then just clip it in right there and you're good to go. But before we put that fan in, Go ahead and take these cable ties off. This is the USB 2.0 cable. We're just gonna go ahead and feed that up through a hole up here. And then we'll work on hiding all these cables in a second. And this is the RGB three pin addressable RGB cable. Again, we're just gonna run it up and out. Now don't forget to run your fan cables back there as well. And then let's put this final fan back on just like that and run that cable up and out as well. And now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to plug everything in properly so everything works the first time. All right, so first things first, we're gonna plug this fan cable splitter that goes from one to two into our CPU fan header on my motherboard is right up here next to the RAM. So we're gonna take this cable, feed it through the back into the case right up here. Give me some slack to work with and then we'll plug it into the top. So right there, that, that gray one says CPU fan on these cables. There's this little rail right here and there's a rail on the actual header. Just line those two things up and you can plug it right in. And just like that right there, we are plugged in. Now we're gonna go ahead and turn this around and you're gonna find that uh, fan splitter that we just put in here. Get your fan cable. And again, there's a rail here, rail here. Go ahead, just line them up, push it in just like that, and then do the same for the other one, and the fans will be plugged in. Now, we ran two other cables. One of them is the addressable RGB 
three pin. For this one, just look for addressable RGB header on your motherboard. On mine, I know it's up here, so I'm gonna feed this right in here. So now we gotta plug this in. Mine is right up here, and there you can see mine right there. It's called DLED2 on mine. Not this one here, this is a four pin. Don't plug it in there. So the way you're gonna do that, again, just line it up. So mine is plugged just like this. And there you go. Now, if your motherboard doesn't have these three pin addressable RGBs, I'll put a link down in the description for a hub that you can use instead of that if you wanna utilize that. Now, the final thing we have to plug in this USB 2.0 cable. This controls the screen on the cooler. Usually they're at the bottom of the motherboard. So I'm gonna run this to the bottom and into the case through one of the holes. As you can see, it's right here. It's missing one in the corner, so you can't really plug it in wrong. And there you can see on mine, right at the bottom of the case, I have another one plugged in right here. And then just look at where that one is missing. It looks like this top corner. All you gotta do is line it up and plug it in just like that. And once you have everything plugged in as mentioned, you're pretty much done. We're gonna go ahead and peel this protective film. And let's go ahead and plug in the GPU and get it started so I can show you what it looks like. So to put your GPU back in, make sure that little lever is down, line up the GPU, hold the case, pop it in until you hear that click. Take the two screws, put them back, and then go ahead and plug in your eight pin or 16 pin, whatever you have. And that's it. Now let's go ahead and get this thing started up and see what it looks like. Well, there you have it fully installed and working beautifully. That's the screen there. You do have to install their software, super easy to use. I'll have a link down in the description to the software download. Now, if you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe. I really would appreciate it. And if you found this video specifically helpful, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.